Hello everyone, my name is Zenitsu, and I'm back with another Buddy Fight deck profile video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Darkness Dragon World deck of uh, Dark Burial, or Black Funeral in Japanese, or just Black Dragons. Like, the deck is basically just a set spell based black dragon deck similar to what death count requiem was doing except this is a little bit more effective on killing your opponent faster than death count requiem was so you're still going to be using relatively similar tools to what the death count requiem style deck was doing you have a couple of searchers for your set spells you have a whole bunch of draw power you have just a lot of high synergy cards to really make use of uh, all of what Black Dragons have to offer, and they have a lot to offer because they are one of the more widely supported archetypes in the game, so they just have a whole bunch of different tech and tools to utilize. So picking which ones is really, really difficult, and it's still really difficult because there's just so much going on with Black Dragons as a whole that I don't even think this deck is a definitive deck. Well, none of my decks are really definitive decks, but like this one especially is different because there's just so many different ways you could build a Dark Burial. What the Dark Burial cards are mainly doing is it's a series of set spells and a new set impact, which basically set your opponent's life to three, they can't gain life, and then you make it so that it is hard for them to get rid of your sets and... You just basically figure out a way to deal three damage to the opponent for lethal. It's relatively simple and straightforward, but because Black Dragons has just so much different tech tools and support, it makes it very hard to build because figuring out which parts and pieces you want to use is just the hardest part of building this deck. What the first symphony is doing is, it's a set spell, all your Dark Burial set cards on your field can't be destroyed or returned to your hand by your opponent's card effects. When uh, this card is set, if you have another Black Dragon on a field, you gain two life. If an impact is set on your field, all cards on your opponent's field get minus 3,000 power and minus 3,000 defense. The first symphony is locking your opponent out from trying to interact with your set spells which is very, very powerful, on top of which gaining two life and a debuff is also pretty solid. The second symphony basically says the abilities of all your black dragons can't be nullified by your opponent's card effects, and when this card is set, if another dark burial is on your field, you get to draw a card, and then if you have an impact set on your field, your opponent can't gain life. So this is the card that lets you draw more cards also protects your Black Dragon cards and locks your opponent's life from gaining any, which the last Symphony, the whole big thing is setting your opponent's life to three if it's greater than four. So what the last Symphony is doing is the first thing is all Dark Burial cards on your field can't be rested by your opponent's card effects. So this is meant to play along with the new Dark Burial Abigail, which has Shadow Dive and Triple Attack, so that way the whole idea is I set up the three set cards and then Shadow Dive with the new Abigail to deal the three damage that way. But it doesn't necessarily matter where the three damage is coming from as long as the three damage is just a threat. But anyway, what the rest of the card does is at the start of each opponent's turn, if the opponent's life is four or greater and you have three or more different Dark Burial sets on your field, this including this card, your opponent's life becomes three. So once you have all three symphonies out, you basically just put your opponent's life to three. They can't gain any life to get out of it, and it makes it very hard for them to destroy your cards. So that way, it makes it hard for them to recover. So as far as what the rest of the deck is doing, it's just using a lot of the Black Dragon synergy cards to just draw lots of cards, play with some of the self-destruction effects, and just try to survive if they can't necessarily finish the opponent off in one go after setting their life to three. So it's just playing off of just everything Black Dragons was doing before, and I'm really only using Light Ray Black Death Abigail just because he's one of the better forms of Abigail. Because not only does he protect all my Black Dragon sets, which is basically my other set spells that I would want to be using, but he also has an on-destruction effect that mills the opponent three, and if a monster is in them, then you also get to draw a card. 
So he's just a very solid Abigail overall, and because he's a size one, he's relatively easy to play. So he's just really good. And then, of course, you're going to have cards like the new Dark Burial Abigail, which, again, has Shadow Dive, and if three or more Dark Burial cards are set on your field, which, again, is all three of the new ones, this card's attack can't be nullified, and if it's attacking alone, its damage can't be reduced. So pair that with the impact, and it basically makes it very, very hard for the opponent to basically do anything to not die to the Shadow Dive triple attack. And then what's really interesting is his other effect. At the start of your attack phase, if a Dark Barrel set is on your field, you may call a card from your drop zone without paying its call cost. So you could kind of utilize another size zero to try to further enhance the aggression and do some other things with. But the deck is very, very open, and it's a very, very powerful deck because of the new set trio. So there's just a lot of options you could do. Like, I've seen other people play like a Grados funeral deck, where basically the idea is they play... Apocalypse, Apocalypse King of Knights Grottos to basically set up the three damage you're going to be dealing to your opponent, and you use uh, Gospel of Death, Death Gaze Reaper to spawn the tokens, so that way if you have your full field set up, they'll have two monsters, and if they literally play anything, they just auto-lose the game. Like, the only way out of it is to respond to the trigger of The Last Symphony at the beginning of the turn, to basically grace so you don't die. That is the only out to that, and it's just very, very powerful. And that's just one example of just the flexibility the deck really has. And I'm probably not doing the deck justice on saying how flexible it is, because you could do so much different things with this deck, it's actually kind of crazy, and there's not necessarily one definitive way to build the deck. Because you could use a lot of the Spectral Strike Black Dragon cards, which also got a huge boost, to deal the three damage that way. You could use what I'm using, which is the Impact to Abigail, to deal the three damage that way. Like, there's just a lot of opportunity to utilize all of the Black Dragon cards in the deck to just do whatever you want with. Like, it's just a very high synergy deck that just has a lot of different tools that you could utilize. So that's kind of really all I have to say about the deck. It's just a very powerful deck that can be built in a whole bunch of different ways. So one build isn't necessarily better than the other because they're all doing different things but trying to reach the same result. As always, I'll have the deck list in the description below. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about the deck or just want to leave comment in general. And as always, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe for more Buddy Fight content, and I will see you in the next video.